So welcome to part three of how to solve the Rubik's Cube. In my first two videos I explained how to solve the first side of the cube and also at the same time I explained how to get the first layer of the cube and in this video I'm going to explain how to get the second layer of the cube, all these middle edge pieces, into their correct positions. And during this entire video I'm going to keep this solved side, so I'm going to keep this white side on the back side of the cube. So this opposite of the solve side, this yellow side of the cube, is going to be always on the front side of the cube. Okay? And the first thing that we're looking for is all the edge pieces on the yellow side of the cube that are not yellow. Okay? So here we have an edge piece on the yellow side, but this one is yellow, so we're looking for a piece that's not yellow. Uh, this one is yellow. Uh, here we have a edge piece on the yellow side of the cube that is not yellow. This one is red and it is blue. Okay, and we have to correctly position this piece before we can start doing our sequence of moves. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to look at this blue side, or on the outside, uh, you want to look at this blue side and match it with the blue center. Okay, um, so now that the blue side is matched with the blue center, you want to look where this piece actually needs to go. Uh, this piece is blue and it's red, okay? So we know that it needs to go into this position right here because here we have a blue center and we have a red center. So we know that this blue and red edge piece needs to go into this position right here, okay? Um, since this piece needs to go in a position to the left of the center, here's the center piece that's blue, uh, we know it needs to go to the left of the center we are going to rotate this front side of the cube so this piece is to the right of the center. Okay, um, So now this piece is correctly positioned uh, to do our sequence of moves and we know that this piece uh, needs to go into this position right here. Okay, um, So since it's going from here to here, it's going from right to left, Okay, our first move is going to rotate this bottom piece from the right to the left. Okay, so I'm going to rotate it from right to left. Okay, uh, so that's the only thing that you need to memorize. Uh, everything else uh, seems to make sense, uh, so hopefully you can follow. Once again, we need to bring this, this piece from here into this position. So I'm going to keep a finger on that position right here. I'm going to bring it down to the front. Okay, now I'm going to rotate this middle so that this piece goes into its correct position right here. So I'm going to rotate the middle layer of the cube. Okay, so, so now the, these two pieces are in their correct position, so now I'm going to bring them back to the blue side of the cube. Okay, so now we have correctly positioned this blue edge piece, however, we screwed up the white side of the cube when we did that, so the only thing that we need to do is just get the white side of the cube exactly the way it was before. Okay, so I'm going to bring these three white pieces uh, to the white side of the cube, and the only piece that we're missing is this piece right here, uh, which is right down here. So for the time being, I'm just going to get this piece out of the way. I'm going to bring this middle layer of the white. I'm going to rotate it down to the front. Okay, now I'm going to bring our piece back to its original position. Okay, and now we can bring these three back and the white side of the cube is exactly the same as it was before. We haven't screwed anything up and now we have correctly positioned this blue and red edge piece without screwing up any of, of the white side of the cube. Okay, so that is the only sequence of moves uh, that you actually need to know how to do um, in order uh, to to solve this middle layer of the cube. Okay, um, so let's just do this one more time just so you uh, so you just get the idea of, of how this works. So the first thing we want to do again is we want to look at this yellow side of the cube and look for a edge piece that is not yellow. Okay, it's right in front of us. Here we have a green and a red piece. Okay, um, this piece is not yellow, um, so we're, we're going to correctly position this green and this red edge piece. And the first thing we want to do is we want to match this red color with the red center. Okay, so let's turn this and match this red with the red center. Okay, 
So here's what we did. We matched the red color with the red center. And let's look where this piece actually needs to go. Okay, We know that it needs to go into this position right here. Okay, um, since, we, since it has to go into a position to the left of the center, I'm going to rotate it so this piece is to the right. Okay, so I'm going to rotate this front edge so that this piece is to the right of the center. Okay, so <clears throat> now that we have correctly positioned this piece and we know that it needs to go into this position, it's going from right to left. Okay, we know that it's going from right to left. So that tells us that our first move is we need to rotate this bottom layer of the cube from right to left. Okay? Once again, that's the only thing that you need to memorize. Everything else seems to make sense. So, uh, once again, we need to get this this piece, this red and green piece into this this red and green position right here. Okay? So, I'm just going to rotate this position down to the front. Now I'm going to rotate this middle layer and bring this piece into its correct position right here. Oops. Okay. So now these two red pieces are in their correct positions. Now we just need to bring them back to the red side of the cube. Okay. And so we have correctly positioned our red edge piece and the only thing that we've done is we screwed up the white side of the cube so we want to make sure that we make the white side of the cube uh, exactly the same as it was before so I'm going to bring these three white pieces back to the white side of the cube and the only piece that we're missing is this white piece it needs to go into this position right here so we need to get it out of the way bring this middle layer down to the front Okay, and now we can bring our edge piece back to the original position and we can bring the three white pieces back to the white side of the cube. Once again, we have not screwed up the white side and we have almost correctly positioned all our second layer, all our edge pieces on the second layer of the cube. Okay, so there is one last piece that we need to fill. We need, we need to get uh, this piece of the second layer uh, correctly positioned. Okay, um, And notice how there's no more edge pieces on the yellow side of the cube that are not yellow. Okay, um, This piece is yellow, uh, this piece is yellow, this one's green and yellow, um, this piece is yellow, this one's green and red. Okay, So there's no more edge pieces on the yellow side of the cube that are not yellow. Um, that's because the piece that needs to go into this position is orange and green is actually there already. It's just flipped around. We need to flip it the other way. Um, so how do we get this piece correctly orientated so that it is in uh, it's in this position the right way? Okay, what we're going to do actually is we're just going to replace this piece right here with any of these yellow pieces. Okay, so we're going to use our same sequence that I've already taught you, and I'm going to replace any of these four yellow pieces into this position right here. And that way, we're going to bring this orange and, uh, and, and green piece, I'm going to bring it to the yellow side of the cube. Okay, so I'm just going to re put this, this piece right here, and I'm going to place it into this position just so we can bring this green and orange piece to the yellow side of the cube. All right, and I'm just going to use the same sequence of moves as from before. Since we're going from left to right, I'm going to rotate the bottom layer of the cube from left to right. Put it in the position. Make the white side exactly the same as it was before. So now we have not changed the, the white side at all. The white side is exactly the same. We still, our middle layer is exactly the same, except now our orange and our green piece is on the yellow side of the cube, and we replaced and we put another piece in its place. Okay? Um, so now, using our same sequence of moves that I've taught you before, now I can place this green and orange edge piece into its correct position. So, what we want to do is we want to match this orange color with the orange center 
Okay. Notice how this orange color is matched with the orange center, and we know that it needs to go into this position right here because it's orange and green, and this position has a orange center and it has a green center. Okay, since this position is to the right of the orange center, we need to position our, our piece that we're filling it with to the left. Okay, and once again, our same sequence of moves. Since our piece is going from left to right, I'm going to rotate the bottom layer of the cube from left to right. Okay, now I'm going to correctly position this piece to where it needs to go. So I'm going to bring this side down. I'm going to rotate this middle layer so that this piece goes into its correct position. Now I'm going to put these two correctly or these these two correctly positioned orange pieces back to the orange side of the cube. And now we need to fix the white side of the, of the cube which we screwed up. All right, so I'm going to bring these three white pieces back to the white side, and we need to fill in this white piece to its correct position, so I'm just going to bring it out of the way, rotate this middle layer down, bring our edge piece back to where it was before, and now the white side is exactly the same as it was before, and now we have completely solved the second layer of our cube. Okay, um, so our next <coughs> sequence of moves that we need to do is we need to solve this bottom layer of the cube. Okay, and this is where it starts getting difficult, a lot of memorization um, involved. And so in my next video, I'm going to teach you how to solve the bottom layer of the cube. So I hope you enjoyed this, hope you found it helpful, and so until my next one, I uh, will see you later.